Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike. It is Wednesday, the 11th of May. This is the daily recap. I'm going to put this out there for free tonight. I have a lot of thoughts to share with you guys here. So if you want to learn more about us, please, in the description below, smartoptiontrading.com, click on us. You can join us for our live trading room. Thoughts like this every day for $25 over the first 30 days and see if you like it. So the SPY here today, it's been a very, very another nasty day. We gapped up here going into the CPI number. Here is your CPI number that came in better than last month, but hotter than expected. We dumped. We rallied all the way back up to those highs. Why? Because this market does not want to just sell and dump. It wants to make everybody hurt. And then we roll back down here to new lows. And here we are in the lows of the day with about 20 minutes to go. It's 3.40 in the afternoon. And we're putting a new low. You can see 383.98 here. That is 20% correction. We have not yet gotten there on the SPY. We're heading towards it. Volume today, we had a heavy volume in the first half an hour, and then just shut off. Volume still elevated, but not huge. Breath is negative across the board and pretty nasty. The oscillators, still weak. We're getting very nice reading again here on the Qs, especially at negative 320. And people are saying, well, what do you do from here? So let me tell you about my day. I didn't do much today, guys. I traded, and I, you know, I, I like to say this sometimes because I think everybody's like, oh, you got to be trading with your hair on fire. I'm like, no, I decided I didn't really want to screw around this market today. I traded Varu pre-market when we opened up, took it for, a, um, made about 150 bucks on it, a little bit more into this, took some money, got out. And I traded the ES short today, made some money, got out. Um, this was pre-market. Then during the day, I tried to trade on AMD, I had a cluster, you know what, with Toss screwing up and having fighting with them all day to get it figured out. And they still haven't responded to me in a way that's appropriate, but made a couple bucks on it, even after their screw up, not as much as I should have. Bottom line, I decided I didn't really want to fight with this mess today. And I stayed out of it. I've been fighting with this market for weeks on end and sometimes just a little tired. Everybody keeps saying to me, when do we get a bottom here? How do we get a bottom in this market? So a true bottom, you'll know after a little bit, right? True bottoms aren't going to come in one day. But right now we're looking for a tradable bottom or some type of bounce bottom in this market. Bottoms like that come when we have capitulation. When you get capitulation, you get capitulation when you see analysts start stop saying, coin is a screaming bargain here. Coin, that report was miserable. There's nothing screaming bargain about coin down here. Peton is a buy. Peloton is not a buy down here. These companies are in huge trouble and they know it and they set it on their calls. Peloton is almost out of cash and having to take $750 million in loans at very high interest rates to pay. Carvana's in the same point, in the same book, right? They couldn't even find anybody to buy their debt. They've been just going down, down on top of this. They had a hard time. They had to pay huge amounts. Markets come when analysts stop this action. Market bottoms come when you get a capitulation volume. We have not been seeing that. The closest we came to this was on the SPY was last Friday. And we started to see it. Last Friday, if you go to a five-minute chart, and I'll, I'll bring you right. Make sure I have this right. Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, yep, right here. See this big 25-minute down? We did 37 million shares in the first hour. This was fear. This was panic. This was people getting out of the way. You're looking for that but you're looking for that followed by a move up and a change. We're not getting that in here. You're looking for some type of candle like this where they come screaming for the market. We're not getting that here. So you need some capitulation in this market. This has been a very orderly, steady sell. The queues are wrecked. The SPY and the queues are both at 52 weeks lows. They're both getting wrecked here at this point in the market. You know, the only sectors that continue to, oops, sorry about that. Only sectors that continue to hold up for the most part, our energy. Here's your new 52-week old spy energy. XLF today. Oops, XLE today. Very strong move up. Names like Oxy had a move. These were tradable. Exxon Mobil, right? Devon. These are all strong. You have strength in select names here and there. Philip Morris has been strong all day. These are inflation type trades, staying strong. You know, there's nothing wrong with getting a shopping list together here. For me, Apple, as we come out of this, is on my list. This one, finally, capitulation today, 52-week low, right? No, sorry, not 52-week low. Recent low, broke below the 150 level, finally. 
Tesla, we talked about the 750 area broke below that today. And now you're starting to watch down to 700 because there's nothing here to support it until 700. It's a capitulation there. And then you got to start watching names like Shop. Shop has a 10 for, for one stock split coming up. It's down around 315. Right now, it's going to be a $300 stock. We've been talking about this for a while. Same thing with Google holding up a little bit today only because they had their event. Amazon, believe it or not, is going to be down around you know, it's going to be down around $120 a share. You know, these, these names are going to be incredibly, incredibly cheap at this point when this is over, if these hold. So you need to start looking at things with a discerning eye, looking at names and saying, I'm not just going to buy them because they're cheap and I'm going to be patient. So for me today, I didn't feel like fighting with this market. So I made some money, put some money in my pocket, decided to stand aside and I'll wait till I get my pitch now. I'm looking for a day where I can get into the market and take a bite and sit in something for more than five to 10 minutes and feel comfortable with it. And through here, the last couple of days, not feeling real comfortable here. And when we get to that point, I want to take some breath and some money, put it to work. Until then, I'll take a couple of trades each day just to pick, put some cash flow in my pocket. And then once we get through that, we'll look for something different. If the market finds its footing at some point, and we should be getting pretty extended again, oversold down here, you know, we could get a fierce rally all the way to the eight day. And if you think about it, that's nothing, Mike. Well, the eight day right now is 406. You're at 292. That's 14 handles. That's a pretty big move. Anyway, I hope everybody's well. I'm sticking with earnings for members tonight and everybody in the catch you guys in the morning. And we'll see where we are tomorrow. You know, honestly, I would love a big gap down tomorrow followed by a reversal. Will we get it? Probably not, but that would be the best setup. Good night, everybody.